Welcome to Real Life Truth, your destination for insightful discussions and explorations of human experiences. In this channel, we delve deep into the complexities of real life issues, providing valuable insights and perspectives that resonate with authenticity and honesty. At Real Life Truth, we believe in uncovering the multifaceted truths of everyday existence, including topics that are often considered taboo or overlooked. Our aim is to foster genuine understanding and connection by addressing the real, raw aspects of life that shape our identities, relationships, and experiences. Join us as we embark on a journey of discovery, exploring the depths of human nature, psychology, and relationships. Through thought-provoking content and meaningful conversations, we strive to shed light on the truths that define our shared humanity. From the complexities of love and relationships to the intricacies of personal growth and self-discovery, real-life truth is your guide to navigating the unfiltered realities of life. Get ready to embark on a journey of authenticity, vulnerability, and growth as we uncover the profound truths that shape our existence. Welcome to Real Life Truth, where honesty meets insight and authenticity reigns supreme. Get ready to explore the depths of the human experience like never before. The one. Arousal and response Female sexual arousal involves a complex interplay of physiological and psychological factors. It often begins with increased blood flow to the genital area, lubrication of the vagina, and swelling of the clitoris. Women may experience a variety of physical sensations such as increased heart rate, breathing rate, and muscle tension. 2. Orgasm Women are capable of experiencing orgasm through various forms of stimulation, including clitoral, vaginal, and blended stimulation of both the clitoris and vagina simultaneously. The experience and intensity of orgasm can vary greatly among individuals. 3. Sensitivity and stimulation women's erogenous zones can include the clitoris, breasts, nipples, neck, ears, and other parts of the body. Sensitivity to touch and stimulation preferences can vary greatly among women. 4. Hormonal influences Hormonal fluctuations throughout the menstrual cycle can influence women's sexual desire, arousal, and responsiveness. Factors such as estrogen and progesterone levels can impact libido and sexual behavior. 5. Pain and discomfort Some women may experience pain or discomfort during sexual activity, which can be caused by various factors such as insufficient lubrication, vaginal tightness, medical conditions, or psychological factors. Addressing these issues with sensitivity and understanding is important for promoting sexual well-being within the context of love. 6. Emotional fulfillment for many women, sexual activity within the context of love, is not solely about physical pleasure but also about emotional fulfillment. Feeling loved, desired, and appreciated by their partner can significantly enhance their sexual satisfaction. 7. Intimacy and connection Women often prioritize intimacy and connection in their sexual relationships, seeking not only physical pleasure but also a deep emotional bond with their partner. Engaging in sexual activity can strengthen the emotional connection between partners and foster feelings of closeness and intimacy. 8. Vulnerability and trust opening oneself up to sexual intimacy requires a certain level of vulnerability and trust. Women may feel more comfortable exploring their sexuality and expressing their desires when they feel emotionally secure and trust their partner to respect their boundaries and desires. 9. Self-esteem and body image women's perceptions of their own attractiveness and body image can significantly impact their sexual behavior and satisfaction. Feeling confident and comfortable in their own skin can enhance a woman's ability to enjoy and fully engage in sexual activity within the context of love. 10. Relationship dynamics The dynamics of the relationship, including factors such as communication patterns, power dynamics, and conflict resolution strategies, can influence a woman's sexual behavior and satisfaction. Healthy relationship dynamics characterized by mutual respect, trust, and open communication are conducive to fulfilling sexual experiences. 11. 
Emotional expression sexual activity can serve as a form of emotional expression for women, allowing them to communicate their love, desire, and affection for their partner non-verbally. Sharing intimate moments with their partner can strengthen the emotional bond between them and deepen their feelings of love and connection. 12. Psychological well-being Women's psychological well-being, including factors such as stress levels, mood and mental health, can impact their sexual desire and responsiveness. Addressing psychological issues and prioritizing self-care can contribute to a woman's overall sexual well-being and satisfaction in the context of love. 6. Sensory stimulation Women often respond to a variety of sensory stimuli during sexual activity, including touch, taste, smell, and sight. Engaging the senses through sensual touch, kissing, and visual stimuli can enhance arousal and pleasure for women in the context of love. 7. Physical compatibility Sexual compatibility, including factors such as sexual preferences, libido levels, and physical compatibility, can influence a woman's sexual behavior and satisfaction within the context of love. Finding harmony and alignment in physical desires and preferences can contribute to a more fulfilling sexual relationship. 8. Sexual response cycle Women typically experience a sexual response cycle that consists of phases such as desire, arousal, plateau, orgasm, and resolution. Understanding these phases and recognizing the unique cues and responses of each individual can enhance sexual communication and satisfaction within the context of love. 9. Exploration and experimentation Women may engage in sexual exploration and experimentation with their partner as a way to enhance pleasure and intimacy in the relationship. Trying new activities, techniques, and positions can help women discover what feels most pleasurable and satisfying within the context of love. 10. Physical health Women's physical health and well-being can impact their sexual behavior and satisfaction. Factors such as overall health, fitness levels, and the presence of medical conditions or disabilities can influence sexual desire, arousal, and responsiveness within the context of love. 11. Sexual anatomy Understanding female sexual anatomy, including the clitoris, vagina, G-spot, and other erogenous zones can help partners navigate sexual activity more effectively and enhance pleasure and satisfaction for women in the context of love. 12. Sexual functioning Women's sexual functioning, including factors such as lubrication, orgasmic response, and pain during intercourse, can vary greatly among individuals. Addressing any concerns or issues related to sexual functioning with sensitivity and openness is important for promoting sexual well-being and satisfaction within the context of love. 13. Hormonal influences Hormonal fluctuations throughout a woman's menstrual cycle can affect her sexual desire, arousal, and responsiveness. For example, increases in estrogen and testosterone levels during ovulation may heighten sexual desire, while fluctuations in progesterone levels during the menstrual cycle may impact mood and libido. 14. Neurotransmitters and brain chemistry The release of neurotransmitters such as dopamine, serotonin, and oxytocin during sexual activity can influence a woman's experience of pleasure, bonding, and emotional connection. These brain chemicals play a role in regulating mood, arousal, and attachment within the context of love. 15. Sexual health and reproductive factors Factors such as menstrual cycle phase, pregnancy, childbirth, and menopause can impact a woman's sexual behavior and satisfaction within the context of love. And changes in hormone levels, physical discomfort, and emotional adjustments associated with these reproductive stages may influence sexual desire and functioning. 16. Sensitivity and responsive anatomy Women's genital anatomy can vary in terms of sensitivity and responsiveness to sexual stimulation. Understanding individual differences in clitoral size and location, vaginal sensitivity, and erogenous zones can help partners tailor sexual activities to maximize pleasure and satisfaction within the context of love. 17. 
non-genital erogenous zones in addition to genital stimulation, women may experience pleasure and arousal from stimulation of non-genital erogenous zones such as the breasts, nipples, neck, ears, and lips. Exploring and stimulating these areas can enhance sexual arousal and satisfaction for women within the context.